Today, while penny coin roll hunting, and look what Jess found. Look what Jess found. Now, we all know what a strike through is, right? Strike through is when there's something on the planchet or the die, and it hits the um, the planchet, and it leaves a mark of the thing that it hits. And that is mint damage, right? But when most people see damage like this on a coin, I think our first reaction is, oh, that's post mint damage, right? However, it's done, it's not done during the strike on the planchet. And one of the things that is said to support that is, well, look at the um, look at the color, right? You can tell it was made after the after the minting of the coin because it's it looks fresh, and the um, the rest of the coin is dark, so you could tell it's done afterwards. And in a few of my videos, I said, you know, you can have the, the damage can be done during the minting process. And for some reason, now you want to call it chemical scientific reason, the copper that is shown is bright in comparison to the, as the, as the rest of the, the coin darkens and usually the response i get is you know no it's not that's not true well i'm going to show you something now and again it doesn't mean that it's it is mint damage what i'm saying is it just doesn't mean that it's not mint damage so i'm going to show you this and i'm going to give you a second to look at it And you figure out for yourself before I say what I'm looking at. Try to figure out what I'm going to say next. In relationship to what I just said. So. If the marks are newer than the penny because they're light, how come the bottom of the mark is the same color as the rest of the penny? That's the question, right? And this is a very good example to illustrate this point. Because so the mark was made at the same time that the penny was created. Or it would be gold also. Well, not necess not necessarily like I was saying the point is that errors made while minting a coin can still look fresh even though it happened during the minting of the coin. That's the point. And I think this is a pretty good illustration of that. And it's funny because right around the, uh, I'm looking at this now and there's some interesting stuff going on right around where those marks are. I don't know if you can see that also through the, uh, the camera. It almost looks like uh, die clashes. 
Now, what caused this? I'm not 100% sure. All I know is that it's on the obverse and the reverse is fine, right? So this is the, this is the question that I ask is to cause this type of, to cause this type of a mark, right? To go through copper, a hard metal. If it was on the floor, those strikes would leave marks on the back. But there are no marks on the back. How come there's no marks on the back? Because it's on the die. You understand? It's on the die. That's so when it was struck and the penny was made, that, so that's why there's zero marks. That is such a hard strike to make those marks. It, I would say even if it was on a desk, it would leave some sort of mark on the back. And also to, to go through that far and just stop, you know. So I'm, I'm assuming, I'm going to say that this is a strike through, that there was something on the, uh, the planchet. That's all. On the top of the planchet, there was something, and it got hit, and it made those marks. And of course, you only see this in, in coppers. Look at that. Look at even, you see, whatever, whatever was there between the planchet and the, uh, the die, it actually caused a little bit of movement in the strike. And you could see doubling in the nine, the eight there. This is a really cool penny. Now, if I send this to the grading company, are they gonna are they gonna grade this as a as a die as a as, as a strike through or some or some other type of mint damage? I doubt it, man. They're they're so super conservative. I doubt they would do that. But. That's my, my theory, my philosophy, and I'd have to, you know, I'd have to hear a, a better reason. No, that was right over in the parking lot. Uh, that's, P that's PMD. Uh, I got to, you know, come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. I just gave a, an educated thesis, and, you know, if you're just going to say PMD or road rash, you know, I'm not going to. I'm not going to listen to you. All right. That's what I got for today's uh, video. Please click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.